All right, welcome back to the channel. Warhammer Man back in the studio with our completed Kill Team Octaria set. Uh, there are still a couple of details I'd like to uh, pick out here when I have a chance. Uh, some of the lighting effects and everything. Uh, but overall, uh, this is the effect we were going for for the uh, Kill Team Octaria set. Uh, this was a pretty quick paint job overall. I did a tutorial on the um, first couple of videos uh, fully live. Uh, just, uh, you know, showing off each of the steps and everything I did to paint up the sets. Uh, and then uh, actually using that tutorial, uh, my brother went ahead and painted up an additional set. Um, so this is the set that he painted up. And then I went through after he was done and um, basically just did a couple of little uh, edge highlights and some uh, like corrosion effects and everything. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we call this the borderland style where we have like an overall kind of like gloomy dark look and then some like real bright highlights uh, to really make some pieces stand out. The goal with this set is to make it catch your eye and everything but not be so busy uh, that you're focused on the terrain and not the models um, in the terrain. So um, as you can see, it came out excellent. Uh, this is just one of the um, setups from the Kill Team Octarius book. Uh, this is the Saboteurs mission pack. Uh, which is where they go to uh, blow up like the little uh, oil refinery. Uh, so you have basically like an attacker or a saboteur uh, and then like some defenders and everything. So, uh, but glad to see this, uh, you know, all but completed. Obviously, uh, tabletop ready and then some uh, with the addition of a couple little uh, details and lighting effects. Uh, I would call this uh, set complete. So uh, let's take a closer look and see what we got here. And we can just talk about a couple of the effects, uh, some things I might do differently uh, and, uh, you know, overall how I... I uh, am happy with the set now. So, um, and if you like the video, if you enjoy it and you enjoy this kind of content or you're interested in kill team content or whatever, uh, just let me know as uh, I do want to serve the community. So whatever you guys are most interested in, I'd like to make uh, videos on everything from 40K to Sigmar, uh, Kill Team, Warcry, Necromunda, etc. So uh, let me know what you like. Also been considering some D&D &D videos uh, as I have uh, quite a bit of cool terrain and uh, different stuff for D&D, &D, lots of cool ideas. So if you're interested in that as well, uh, please let me know also. So uh, let's just uh, take a look here. All right, so um, as you can see, uh, you know, pretty nice paint jobs on everything. Um, overall, the video that I did uh, displaying the, you know, basically like tabletop ready set took me a uh, little over six hours, maybe seven hours uh, real time and three videos to create. Uh, my brother basically got this set to the same point as the first set. Uh, and then I took about two hours and did some uh, highlights on the set and then uh, some of like the corrosion effects um, for like the copper and metal and everything. So um, and then obviously picked out some of like the rivets and everything as well. But this fully shows that somebody uh, could go and just use like the tutorial basically that I set up and just go their own. Uh, he painted a couple things a little differently and, uh, you know, obviously uh, picked out some details differently, different colors, etc. Uh, but overall, um, the setup is there. So if you haven't watched those videos, highly recommend you go back and, uh, you know, check out some of those as well. I'm also looking forward to doing some battle reports. If you guys are interested in battle reports for Kill Team or Warcry or whatever, uh, please let me know. I'd rather stick to like the smaller skirmish type games uh, for now, um, just because of the amount of time and everything that goes into them, editing videos, etc. Uh, but I uh, would like to bring some high quality battle reports uh, and then, uh, you know, some tactics uh, like intense games as well to the, uh, to the channel. So uh, let me know what you're interested in and I'd be glad to make that happen. So... Uh, but let's kind of take a closer look at some of these uh, pieces of the terrain and everything. And uh, you know how we kind of did this. So, All right. So for uh, like these pieces right here, uh, we started off with that same uh, kind of like just basically uh, dry brushing on some metallics over top like the already kind of rust effect that we did uh, using uh, basically a dark brown, a black base coat and then a dark brown base coat over that. And then a, a dry brush of a lighter brown and then uh, just kind of like stippling in some of the uh, riser rust effect and then just a uh, kind of light dry brush of lead belcher on top of that and then just sort of went through and started picking out some of the uh, colors and details i added in a few edge highlights a couple layers of those and uh, like some of the effects and uh, there we have it there so that's like the typhus corrosion um, on top of like the gold uh, etc so and next we just have our like one of the barricade pieces uh, for this we used a couple of the uh, contrast paints um, the yellow was actually uh, the contrast paint um, so it came out real nice and then a nice little yellow highlight over that 
And then again, just the same technique overall. A little bit of the um, skeleton horde contrast for like the uh, cloth that's wrapped around the pipes there. And then again, just kind of went through, picked out some of the details with lead belcher, uh, you know, specifically just to kind of break up the monotony of everything being all rusty. And then just wanted to add in some colors uh, to show that it's all like kind of pieced together and from different broken vehicles. Uh, and you can see like the white effects in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of the uh, Tesseract Glow or one of the uh, yellows as well. Something to make that kind of glow. And I think the Tesseract go Glow will go nice since we already kind of have incorporated the yellow. Uh, but again, very cool uh, with how they came out and happy with everything. And here we have another piece. Uh, again, you can see, you know, overall pretty simple. Uh, just a couple layers of highlights. Uh, you know, basically just started with uh, like the blue or um, the red or whatever and then just kind of wash them with null and oil went back through with that same blue kind of picked out some of the colors and then just did like a lighter blend uh, to just kind of lighten it up and then same with the yellow um, after we did the uh, you know initial white on there and then hit it with the contrast paint just went back through uh, with some yellow and just kind of lightened it back up and again you can see we've picked out some of the metallics to make them look different and the last of the barricades uh, you can see this one's got a nice chunk of a scrap jet on there. Uh, obviously has some light bulbs uh, with power running to them. Um, so we're going to do like a glow effect on them. Haven't decided if I'll just use the airbrush and keep it simple or uh, do it, um, you know, basically like dry brushing and, uh, you know, making it so people without an airbrush could easily copy the technique. Uh, but again, you can see uh, like the typhus corrosion down on the gold, just kind of working that into the cracks. And then obviously just the various highlights along the way. Uh, and really make this like kind of pop. And, uh, you know, one thing is the attention to detail on this. Uh, initially, I wasn't sure about uh, making them glow, but it's actually hooked up to a battery pack. So it would make sense that the lights would be able to glow. Um, very cool. Um, very nice set. Again, just some random like gauges and everything uh, that maybe we'll add a little light to as well. So then we just got another one of the scrap piles. Uh, again, you could pick out as much of the detail or as little of the detail as you want. I um, just want to add like a little bit of color uh, and some different shades to kind of break up the monotony. Uh, but here we have it. Uh, pretty basic, but gets the effect across. Catches your attention a little bit. Uh, so it's obviously like tabletop painted, uh, but not so much that it takes away from, uh, you know, the effect of the models and everything on the table. And then here we have the last of our scrap piles. Uh, this one's got an Imperial crate, a little piece of the blasted jet, you know, a barrel on there. And then, uh, you know, an engine block from some sort of like buggy or truck. A uh, bunch of bolts, little tool kit, uh, you know, lots and lots of details on here. But again, just trying to pick out some of them and get some nice crisp highlights uh, with some dark contrast uh, down in the cracks and everything. Um, so it gives like that kind of Borderlands highlight effect as like uh, we like to refer to it, you know, because it reminds you of like the Borderlands video game uh, and like the way the lighting and colors and everything is. And then next we can just take a look at the uh, first of our uh, like four building pieces. Um, so, you know, we have everything from like the gas can uh, to obviously like the orc symbols, the wires, all that stuff, uh, you know, like the uh, metal tank and everything and the corrosion down in there. Again, you can see how like the crisp and bright highlights uh, really take the blue from like a real dark, uh, like shaded blue to like the super bright look. Uh, so it really stands out. And then obviously want to um, focus the attention on the outside. So we've done like minimal details on like the inside and underneath. Um, as you're really not going to be focusing on that. It's not nearly as important for game terms. And again on the top. Just want to have a couple of bright colors. And uh, some different metallics to kind of break up the monotony. Picking out some of the bolts and everything. And just adding in a little bit of the corrosion. And next we'll just kind of show off uh, one of the little barricades here. Uh, again just went ahead and uh, did this with the lead belcher. And then uh, did a nice null and oil wash over top. Uh, and then just uh, dry brushed on uh, like the top 50% of it. Uh, some iron breaker. Uh, just for a little bit of lighter silver and then uh, went back through one more time uh, with the uh, null and oil and just kind of went down in the bullet holes and uh, in some of the cracks and everything uh, to give it like that extra effect. Um, so again, we get like that kind of borderland style like highlighting. And for the very little amount of time and skill that it takes to do these, uh, overall really like the effect that you get from them. And here is the next of our large building pieces. Um, so again, you can see a bunch of the gauges are already painted white. Uh, just ready for that tesseract glow uh, you can see we've picked out uh, like the water tank uh, with sort of like a uh, like copper color uh, just so that uh, you know to symbolize that it's like you know hot water or copper tanks or something like that and then obviously uh, you know wherever it would be potentially leaking 
uh, would cause like corrosion over time. And uh, that's where we have like that uh, typhus corrosion effect uh, coming in. And that's real simple. Just kind of paint it down in the cracks wherever you want it. I uh, try to focus around on like the joints basically. Um, and then again, you see like the blue and the red of the wires uh, really highlight it. And then went ahead and threw a red symbol on the side of this one here. Uh, again, just kind of picked out some of the stuff inside of here uh, just to add a little bit of effect. Things like, you know, the pair of pliers or some of the wires, etc. Uh, again, we'll go back through and do like some of the lighting, uh, probably with the airbrush or dry brush later on. And then just enough on the uh, top panels as well uh, so that they look nice and everything. But again, they're not so colorful or bright that they're like catching your eye and taking away from the actual models. And just kind of for comparison here, uh, you can see the difference between the red uh, like icons or uh, like orc plaques versus the blue ones. Uh, the idea being that uh, two of the buildings would have red and two of the buildings would have blue. Um, so in the missions where you have uh, like, you know, two separate structures or four separate structures, uh, you kind of have like the good guys and the bad guys. Uh, but just to add a little accent and bring it all together, we add in like one small uh, icon to the other one. Uh, so the whole thing goes together. It doesn't look awkward when it's one big building. So, and again, you see like the water effect and everything, uh, you know, just kind of picturing where the water would run down, where it would come out, where it would build up, uh, you know, from like the leaks or the rain or whatever, and then kind of putting that typhus corrosion down in there. Uh, just minimal detail on the underside here. And then same with the top. Just want to add enough, uh, you know, different silver panels and just kind of brightness, a little bit of the, uh, you know, copper effect, uh, just so it's not all uniform. Um, and then again, we'll go back through and put some lights on the lights or some, uh, you know, airbrush effect on the lights, etc. Um, and then also like the gauges. And here's the last of our main building pieces. Um, again, you know, using that same effect, uh, we basically get, uh, you know, that nice rusty old look and then just kind of going through and picking out some of the details. Uh, anything that's like moving, like the door locks or anything, we want to pick out with that brighter steel. You know, the tanks and everything, the water tanks and stuff, uh, we picked out with that, uh, you know, copper look. And then again, we have the red icon on this one. And then around the corner here, uh, we have the blue icon just so everything kind of looks like it goes together. Uh, but if you have these set up, you can have a red building or a blue building, etc. Then once again, just a little bit of detail on the inside, nothing crazy. And again, uh, since you have two of each of these buildings, I uh, just tried to uh, vary some of the effects a little bit. Uh, the panels are pretty much the same uniform, uh, you know, like the certain types of panels. Uh, we did like a certain way. So they would stand out. But then when we did like the, uh, you know, typhus corrosion effect and everything, I just kind of changed it up so they didn't look exactly the same uh, where we kind of put that corrosion effect. And these are very basic. Uh, just starting off with the same effect and just kind of picking out some of the metallics. Uh, and then just go ahead and paint the wood white. And then we just went ahead and used the skeleton horde. I uh, just put two coats on here and it gives like that nice, just kind of basic uh, wood grain kind of texture to it. Uh, you can get fancy with it. You can darken up some spots. You can make the different colors, uh, you know, the boards, some lighter, some darker. Uh, but again, just kept it pretty basic, nice and quick, tabletop ready. Uh, and that was the goal and uh, came out obviously very nicely as well. And then here we have the uh, last piece of the set here, uh, the oil rig. And again, I uh, went ahead and painted it all in different pieces uh, and then assembled it together and then just kind of picked out some of the highlights and some of the water effects. Uh, but you can see... Uh, you know, we'll do like the light effect on the eye there. I've uh, done quite a bit of the corrosion effect. Uh, imagining that there's been like some leaking liquids coming out. Made sure that the uh, movement part of the pump is, uh, you know, done in the brighter silver to show that it has been moving. And as we kind of just go around on here. I just picked out some various of the uh, metallics in different little bits there. Uh, you know, some are like the silver patchwork and others are like the original copper. Uh, you know, and then just added in some kind of wires and pipes and uh, whatnot. Uh, you know, a little orc symbol on there and everything and did like that uh, highlighting effect. So um, overall, very happy with how uh, the set came out and, uh, you know, the amount of time for the uh, overall effect. Uh, the details on this set are phenomenal. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, um, obviously there's like unlimited amount of things you could paint on these sets. Uh, the true test is just figuring out what to paint to make it look good uh, without, uh, you know, spending too much time doing so. But there we have it. That is the uh, Kill Team Octarius set. 
all painted up and ready for some play. I like to have everything uh, painted. Obviously, is much more enjoyable. Uh, but also, uh, you know, you can look through the tutorial and see how I came up to everything um, on the original set that I did. And then, of course, I will come back through and, uh, you know, finish that set as well. I've been uh, very focused on, it takes a lot of time to film the videos and, uh, you know, show everything as we're doing it versus just like, painting when I'm doing something else or watching something else etc um, so I've been real focused on uh, some commissions obviously that is top priority of the studio because that's what pays the bills uh, but in the meantime uh, you know every once in a while to break up the monotony I'll just kind of do some other projects uh, so I was able to uh, do the highlights on this and just wanted to kind of bring it to the channel uh, but eventually I will have that uh, fourth and final video uh, you know showing basically uh, from start to finish in real time and then I'll do a uh, edited version of it as well. But uh, this is the final product and what you can expect with that technique. Uh, and then just a couple more like uh, minimal things like the highlights and the, um, you know, typhus corrosion effect, etc. Um, and then, of course, I will do a I know not a lot of people or a lot of people don't have an airbrush. Um, so maybe I will do one set where I dry brush the uh, lights of effects in for like the OSL and everything. Um, that's how I originally learned how to do it and, uh, you know, can get a very nice effect with it. Uh, and that applies to everyone. And then obviously it's super easy to do uh, with an airbrush as well. Uh, so maybe I will airbrush one set and dry brush the other uh, and do like just a quick little tutorial on that. Uh, so you can see either way, uh, again, just so, uh, you know, people have uh, both options available and can see which effect they like. And uh, you really can get uh, the same airbrushed effect with a dry brush um, if you know what you're doing so uh, but there we have it that is the kill team octaria set all completed again uh, just let me know uh, what kind of content you guys enjoy do you like the 40k and uh, um, kill team stuff do you like necromunda uh, are you more of an age of sigmar guy or uh, you know war cry what battle reports would you like to see and also would you be interested in some uh, D, D content uh, you know showing off some of the uh, custom terrain pieces uh, that we create uh, you know models that can be used in uh, Dungeons and Dragons painting tutorials um, etc uh, I'm curious uh, also uh, you know if you're interested in like strategy for any of these games um, and then obviously uh, battle reports or gameplay um, as well so uh, well there you have it if you liked the video today make sure that you like and subscribe I appreciate you guys tuning in today uh, and uh, all the love lately uh, hopefully everybody had a nice holiday season and uh, coming up on the end of the year and uh, moving into the uh, you know Christmas season uh, hopefully everyone uh, spends some time with their family gets a little time to uh, hobby and enjoy themselves and uh, you know stays warm out there as well so and I know I do have a uh, international audience uh, so I uh, hope everybody is doing well all across the globe uh, let me know um, you know if you guys enjoyed the video today, uh, what I could have uh, done differently or could do differently in the future that you would enjoy even more, make sure you like and subscribe. And that's it for today. Uh, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.